Okay, so Sean Payton is now installed as the head coach with the Broncos. You know, people are joking is that the donkeys are no longer the donkeys. So what do you think is going to happen with Denver now that Payton's there? I think it changes the whole, as your headline alludes to, the AFC West landscape. I'm waiting, waiting for you to look at that uh, storyline. <laughs> uh, obviously, Kansas City has owned the division. The Chargers think they're close. Denver has now become a reality in the AFC West. Raiders have a lot of ground to make up now because the Raiders don't have a quarterback. Sean Payton goes to Denver and inherits Russell Wilson. He will coach him hard. It will be a different relationship, that quarterback and this head coach, than any of the head coaches he's had before. That's item one. He inherits an offense that's going to get its star left tackle Grant Bowles back from knee surgery. Javante Williams, the superstar physical running back, back from knee surgery. And the three young wide receivers led by Jerry Judy, who could not stay on the field because they were always injured. They'd make a big play, have a big game, get hurt. He gets all those guys back healthy, and he inherits the number one defense. That's pretty good. Now, things have really changed in Denver. Holy cow. He walked into that building like a hurricane. They fired the training staff. They dismissed the strength staff. He's bringing his own people with him. This was part of the agreement when he said, okay, I don't have to be the general manager and director of player personnel, but you're going to give me control of everything in that building. He's already started. I think there's going to be roster changes too along the way. His first meeting with the team, followed by his first meeting with the media in Denver, was just amazing. I am the law. That was the phraseology as he introduced himself to the media. Wow. I am the law. What I say is non-negotiable. Russell Wilson had his own personal trainer and his own quarterback consultant as part of his entourage in the building. Sean Payton's response, our building, our staff, they're not part of what we do. They're out. Wow. Russell Wilson has already agreed to that. Uh, in addition, discipline and accountability. You will answer to me on the field what we call to make you play better, but you will be accountable for doing what we tell you to do. Strong stuff coming out of the mouth of Sean Payton. In addition, waiting for him to hire his coordinators. If I were a betting man, I think his offensive coordinator is going to be guy the Chargers just fired Joe Lombardi. Huh. Makes a lot of sense because Lombardi was in New Orleans for 11 years, mm -hmm. a large chunk of it with Sean Payton. And in terms of defensive coordinator, they're trying really hard uh, to get Brian Flores, the former head coach of the Miami Dolphins, who was a real defensive guru, uh, is on the Pittsburgh Steelers staff right now as linebacker coach. But Flores is interviewing with the Arizona Cardinals, a second interview. So I don't know whether they're going to be able to get him. But if they get Lombardi, who's locked in step with everything Peyton does in terms of offensive philosophy, formation, schemes, they get Lombardi and they get Brian Flores, that's a hell of a staff of smart people. So that's what's going on in Denver. It's not been very quiet in Denver uh, the first couple of days of Sean Peyton being in the building. What's your reaction? I mean, that's unbelievable. I am the law. So he's not <laughs> pulling any punches here. And it's non-negotiable. It is non-negotiable. So this, this is great. So you're talking about the relationship between Russell Wilson and Sean Peyton. But, you know, Wilson came from from the, the Seattle, you know, and he had a great relationship with the head coach there. I mean, how are those two head coaches different? Well, Pete Carroll's a defensive guru, mm -hmm. so he had subordinates that ran the offense, and they had some success, and they had failures, and they did not draft very well, and they were going through transition, and Russell Wilson got the hell beat out of him. He's playing for an offensive coach. He's playing for what I call a bright light. Mm. Uh, this is the interesting relationship, but after the misery of last year, where Russell Wilson threw only 16 passes, uh, touchdowns, and they were the worst offensive team in modern-day NFL football, this has to be a breath of fresh air, and he knows Sean Payton's track record. And Sean Payton's history is, I coach my quarterbacks hard. He can pick up the phone and call Drew Brees. And Brees, by the way, just raved about Payton's impact on Drew Brees' career. And he's just, Russell Wilson's about to experience the same thing. So you're correct with the headline you created there. The <laughs> MC West landscape, John, 
definitely changing. Yeah. Next topic. All right.